Hello, and welcome to ShipU Stats. In this video, we're going to go over how to calculate confidence intervals for individual statistical tests in JASP. To explain what a confidence interval is, let's go ahead and look at this example. We have an independent sample t-test that's significant, where we have a difference between two of our groups. To calculate that actual difference, we can go ahead and get the location parameter, which will tell us the mean difference between our two groups. We can also select confidence interval here. As you see, we have two values here, the lower and upper range. Here, we can be 95% confident that the true mean difference in the population falls between this value and this value. We can get confidence intervals for a number of things in JASP. For example, we can get a confidence interval for effect size, and we can change that confidence interval here. We can get a 90% or 95% or whatever value we want to enter there. We can also get confidence intervals for different statistical tests. So for example, for a correlation here, I can get a confidence interval for my R value here. Here, I can be 95% confident that the true correlation for this, these two particular variables falls between this value and this value. And again, I can change that value here. All right, thanks for watching this short video on how to calculate confidence intervals in JASP. 